Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for listening. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for guided meditation. It doesn't matter where you are, as long as you can set this time aside for yourself with nothing else to do and no other distractions. So whether you're seated or already snuggled up in bed, take a little while to offer yourself as much comfort as you can here. Maybe adjusting the pillow underneath your head or taking the time to offer yourself an extra blanket. Really tune in to yourself and your needs. Is there anything else you can do here to give yourself exactly what you need to be able to relax into this session just a little more? If you haven't already, soften your gaze or lower your gaze or even close your eyes if you're comfortable. Maybe even placing an eye pillow over your eyes. Dark is one of the conditions for calm in the body. So you can check that out and see if it helps you relax a little more. Then visualize, imagine, or sense the space around you. The walls, the ceiling, the floor, or wherever it is you are. Imagine, sense, or feel yourself within that space. Notice how that space feels for you. And get comfortable and familiar with the sounds in and around that space too. So at any time during the next hour, when sounds arise, they will neither distract nor disturb you from your guided meditation today. Once you're comfortable and familiar with all the sounds around you, start to tune in to the sound of your breath as you rest. Notice your inhales and your exhales. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose or any other way that suits you in this moment. Don't worry about doing this the right way or the wrong way. There is no right and wrong way for guided meditation. So trust that it'll all unfold and the experience you have here today is perfect for you. It's quite normal in guided meditation to sometimes drift in and out of awareness of my voice. Don't worry if that happens. You don't need to strain to hear every word that I say. Again, there's no right and no wrong way of doing this. And when 
you're ready, simply notice the support underneath your body. And there may be different kinds of support, different softnesses and textures. Just tune in to all the places that your body is touching a surface. Take a full breath in when you're ready. Hold just for the count of one. And on the exhale, let the breath go as you let your body sink deeper into that support in your own time. And continue with a few breaths just like that. Inhaling, holding, and on the exhale, allowing yourself to deepen into the support underneath you. Notice how you may feel that with every exhale, you're relaxing even more into that support underneath your body. Starting to release what's happened in your day so far and to give yourself permission for this time, gifting yourself this time to set aside for you. Allow your breath to come back to its natural, easy rhythm when you're ready. settling in. And as you allow your body to settle, allowing your bones to feel just a little heavier here as your body sinks into that support. Imagine your joints feeling easier as you rest and start to settle. Imagine your muscles starting to loosen and release. As you really start to tune in to this moment, noticing different places in your body that may feel more tense or tight than other places. And seeing if you can offer yourself anything to release that tension, even a fraction. Maybe shifting or adjusting yourself or offering those areas a few breaths. As you start to imagine, sense and feel your body unwinding, imagine too that your thoughts start to feel a little further away. They start to feel a little more soothed as you settle in. And your thoughts settle down too. Being 
being gentle with yourself. And if in a dialogue spring up or judgments, and see if you can simply notice that happening. Notice that happening and offering yourself kind in a dialogue, kind words, knowing that you've set this time aside for yourself. And today, we're going to start with a sankalpa, cultivating or creating a sankalpa. Sankalpa is a Sanskrit word for a resolve or a resolution. It's like something that we choose to deepen within ourselves as if we were asking the world or the universe as you understand it for something and expecting that to be reflected back to us in our lives. A sankalpa is a short mental statement, a sentence, or even a word that you choose. And by repetition, that sankalpa or resolution starts to influence the way things happen around us. And it starts to bring an intention into our world. This sentence, word or statement is created by you to create an intention, a resolve or a quality that you would like to bring into your world. You are the only one able to create your own resolution or sankalpa. So, allowing yourself to rest here, knowing that there is no right or wrong way of doing this. This is simply an intention or a resolve that you would like to manifest into your life in this moment. I will guide you through the steps and you can keep a sankalpa for simply one practice or a lot of the times the sankalpa or your intention feels perfect for you, then you can keep it for weeks, months, and sometimes years until you feel ready to move on to another one. And there's no right and wrong way of doing this, meaning you can try a few out until you find one that seems to suit you. So the first part of a sankalpa is that the statement, sentence or word is expressed in the present tense. As if it is happening in this very moment. For instance, instead of I want to be happy, in the present tense it would be I am happy or I feel happy. The second part 
is that we want to avoid any negatives as the universe in general doesn't really recognize negatives. For example, I will not be scared. Instead, taking the negative out, it would be replaced with, I feel, for example, calm, or I feel comfortable, or I am comfortable. So, in your own time, making any lost little adjustments that you need to, allow your breath to settle normally, acknowledging any thoughts as they slide in or out of your awareness. Let go of any judgments or any concerns about creating your sankalpa and be in this moment. Then when you're ready, allow your mind to rest on a quality or an intention that you would like to invite into your life. A heart's longing, allowing your awareness to slide from your mind down into your heart space. Imagine your heart space softening and releasing tension. And then invite in a short sentence or word your son culpa, the quality that you would like to invite into your world. You may play with a few statements, being fully present with each individual statement. Take some time here to perfect your sankalpa, your resolution or intention.
once you have your sankalpa, your statement, quality, or word, we will state it three times silently or out loud to yourself, pausing between each word. When you're ready, take a full breath in, exhale here, and start to repeat your sankalpa. Three times, pausing between each word. finished, simply sit with your sankalpa, allowing it to land in your awareness, in your body, and in your world. Now you have created your own sankalpa. This can be used simply today or many times. Sankalpas are often used for years. And then when you're ready, take a full breath in. Exhale, long and slow. Another few breaths just like that. Start to notice the rhythm of your breath here. Notice as the breath comes and goes. Starting to allow the inhale to be just a little deeper and the exhale to get just a little longer. Allowing your 
yourself to smooth out the breath from the bottom of the breath all the way to the top and from the top of the breath all the way down to the bottom. Notice the pauses in between the breath at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. And however much effort you're putting into the breath. Allow that effort to dissolve until the breath seems almost effortless. Releasing any tension in your body that may have been gathered. And from here, we'll create a breath together that strengthens your sankalpa or your intention, the quality that you want to invite in. If the intention or quality was of a calming nature, then start to place your awareness in the exhale. The exhale is responsible for our relaxation response. So consider your sankalpa and the quality that you wanted to invite in with that sankalpa. And again, if that fits in with a sense of ease and quiet, start to place your awareness on your exhale, allowing that exhale to fill your awareness completely. If you want your intention or resolve to draw in a sense of energy, of strength, then start to place your awareness on your inhale, imagining drawing in that quality or resolution as you breathe in. And keep any forcing out of the breath, soft, easy breath, wherever your intention or focus is. And if the quality or resolution you are inviting in is balance. Then allow your awareness equally to rest on the inhale and the exhale, noticing all the breath. And if you're not quite sure what your resolve invites in with the quality of the breath, then settle into a breath that feels the most easy for you here. And 
wherever you place your awareness within the breath cycle will strengthen that part of the breath. The inhale is drawing energy in. The exhale is releasing and deepening into calm. Balance would be noticing the full breath. So creating a breath here for yourself that mirrors your sankalpa, your intention or resolution. I'll give you some time here to follow the breath of your choice. breath of your choice to simply dissolve away, allowing your breath to be as effortless and as easy as you can make it, releasing all intention over the breath. Noticing the rhythm and finding ease where you can. Inhaling and exhaling.
And from here, we'll go forth into expanding your sankalpa, your intention or resolve. Imagine, sense or feel that you're in a forest, your own forest, maybe one you know well, or one from your imagination or a picture. Imagine, sense or feel that you're in your forest, choosing the time of day or night. And as you find yourself Imagine sensing or feeling yourself in your forest. Sense the trees around you. You may even be able to visualize the trees, imagining them there. Noticing the size of the trees around you. smelling the air and as you smell the air notice the scents in the air the fragrances of the trees themselves the earth or other plants or flowers you might even be able to smell any water close by Choose the temperature that's perfect for you. Here in your forest, all by yourself, feeling relaxed and at ease here. Allowing yourself to feel calm and peaceful in your forest. And maybe you can hear the sound of a soft breeze in the trees as the leaves are rustling. Or you may hear bird song or animals. Or the rushing of water close by. looking around at the colors and the textures that surround you in your forest. Noticing as you look down, sensing or feeling whether your feet have boots or shoes on or if they're bare. Imagining, sensing, or feeling that you're on a forest path. And it's laid out at your feet. And you start to move along the forest path. And you take a look around you. Your body feels easy here and calm. as you move along the forest path. And every moment you're here, you can feel yourself at ease, completely comfortable in your forest. And the sound of water comes to your ears and the water sound starts to get louder. 
And as you move along the forest path, and the sound of the water gets louder and louder, you notice up ahead, up ahead, from the path, there is a wooden bridge, a wooden bridge as big and wide and as sturdy as you want it to be. And the bridge is over the rushing water. And as you move towards your side of the bridge, you can see the water bubbling and babbling over the rocks underneath the bridge as it flows off in one direction, quick and clear. And as you look over the bridge, you notice at the end of the far bridge, it seems different. It seems that there is a veil over the other side of the forest. And so in your own time, moving onto the bridge, and noticing how sturdy it feels. You may even take one of the sturdy rails as you start to move along the bridge. And it feels as if there's a stillness coming into the air and the sounds start to quieten as you move across the bridge. The sound of the breeze in the trees and the sound of the birds get quieter and quieter. And as you move over the bridge, almost halfway, you notice even the sound of the water gets quieter. Stopping halfway on the bridge, looking over and through the bridge itself down to the water. And the sound is muffled, although you can see the water clearly rushing and running over the smooth pebbles and rocks below. Looking up through the canopy of trees into the sky, your sky, the perfect sky for this day. I'm taking a few easy breaths here, not feeling concerned, just curious. You look to the other end of the bridge. And it seems as if there's still the veil over the other side of the forest, as if everything is out of focus and it makes you curious as you start to move towards that end of the bridge. Moving slowly and the sounds quieten even more. There's an energy in the air that you haven't felt before and it feels exciting. As you come towards the edge of the bridge, you notice 
that it's almost like the surface tension of water in front of you. You can see the forest through the fine layer of what looks like water. And it's moving and pulsing. But you can see the forest through there. So reaching out one of your hands, you go to touch the strange phenomenon in front of you, the thing that looks like surface tension and water. And as you touch your hands up against it, your fingers go through, but it's not wet. And pushing your whole hand through, it feels like you can touch the energy on the other side, drawing your hand back through to yourself and examining your fingers. They're not changed or different, but there's almost like a buzzing at the end of your fingers and in your hand that went through. And a deep knowing comes over you that when you move through this veil, you're going to move into a forest where your intention, your son Kulpa, is completely embodied. Whatever it was you were inviting in to your world when you move through this veil, you'll move into a world where you embody your son Kalpa, sensing it and feeling it completely. So in your own time, at your own pace, reaching out one hand in front of you and allowing your fingers and hand once more to penetrate, going through to the other side of the forest, feeling the energy in that hand as it's passed through to the other side. And in your own time and space, you start to move forward through that veil. And as you move forward, it's like a light brush of a breeze against your skin. And as you emerge from the other side, feeling the resolution, your son Kalpa, be fully present in you. Whatever it was that you chose to manifest. Noticing that the air is different here and you feel different as your son Kalpa is embodied feeling it within your whole self, filling up your whole being fully. Every part of you is embodying your intention and resolve, allowing yourself to be comfortable here The energy is different in and around you as you have completely embodied what you asked for. The universe has answered you, manifesting it for you instantly. Breathe it in, 
notice how it feels. Fully embracing the manifestation of your Sankalpa. Noticing exactly how it feels in your body. Noticing how it feels for it to fully manifest in your mind. Noticing how it feels to have your Sankalpa fully manifest within your heart. As your whole being enjoys embodying your resolve and intention. Take some time here and move through the forest if you wish. Enjoy your manifestation of your son Kulpa, however you wish to. And I'll call you back when we're done. Enjoying the last few moments here, knowing that at any time you choose to, you can come back to embodying your manifestation of your son Kalpa. Remember how it feels in your body your mind and heart and in your spirit. The more you embody it, the more the universe will mirror it for you in everyday life. Get familiar with how it feels. Find yourself now 
the end of the bridge with that rippling water tension surface in front of you. And when you're ready, slipping one hand through and feeling the natural forest on the other side and in your own time moving through that veil until you're on the bridge. And as you move on the bridge towards the other side, the sounds of the forest start to come alive. The sound of the breeze and the birds and animals and the water get louder and louder as you make your way across the bridge and down onto the forest on the other side, breathing in the air and the smells and in your own time, allowing the forest to dissolve around you and bringing your awareness back to where it is that you are in this moment, resting Feel the surfaces underneath you. Sense the room around you or the space you're in. The floor, the ceiling, the walls. Sense your body as a whole. And placing one or both hands over your heart if you wish. And repeat silently or out loud three times your son culpa and remember what that feels like three times in your own time. Take a breath in. Exhale it out long and soft. Feel the surface underneath you and the support that your body has. You are welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Or in your own time awakening your mind, your body. Thank you for practicing with me, from my heart to yours, namaste.